Hey Disco friends, this is Tatiana and a Meta Quest update version 60 is here. It's rolling out on December the 4th and there's a lot to unpack. There's also a Quest 3 giveaway announcement by SideQuest coming in this video, so stick around. Its update will hit all Quest headsets, so let's dive in and we'll start with my personal favorite layout utility app. This neat new addition is like having a futuristic digital tape measure and a 3D planner in your VR arsenal. Essentially, this tool will allow you to do real world measurements in VR. Assuming those measurements will be taken accurately, this is a game changer for those of us who love to mix reality with virtual enhancements. Imagine being able to measure the square footage of your living room without a physical tape measure. You can walk around your room, point at corners, and get accurate measurements all in virtual overlay. It's perfect for planning renovations or just figuring out if a new sofa or TV will fit in your living room. Layout will let you visualize different items in your room. Imagine being able to see how your new furniture will fit, you can even experiment with different layouts and make decisions before making any real-world changes or purchases. Honestly, if this works well, this is a dream come true for interior design enthusiasts and everyone looking to spruce up their home. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that to function properly, the layout app must require detailed scanning of your physical environment. And this means that the app collects data about the layout and dimensions of your private spaces, like your home or office. There is a concern about how the spatial data is stored, used, or potentially shared. Users should be informed about what data is collected, how it is used, and who has access to it. There is a risk of this data being accessed by unauthorized parties, leading to privacy breaches, which is not a new issue if we talk about Meta slash Facebook. Something to keep in mind. Next, there are three new Horizon home environments – Blue Hill, Goldmine, Storybook, and Lakeside Peak. These look super cool for exploring and hanging out with friends virtually. Right now I only have the Blue Hill Gold Mine, and this environment is on the next level. It's not just a static backdrop anymore, but it actually makes you feel like you're in some kind of a game. You see specks of dust, the lanterns shaking in the wind, incredible visibility, just so many tiny details that I'm not used to seeing in a home environment. Normally I prefer just enabling pass-through in Quest 3, but this makes me want to spend time here in VR, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the other two environments as well. But of course, so many other home environments can be found on SideQuest. And SideQuest is a one-stop shop for all VR experiences, be it official games, app lab games, demos, early access mods, and many more. I'm proud to partner with SideQuest for this video, and I'm particularly excited about their brand new VR social sandbox called Banter. Yes, SideQuest developed their own VR social game, which is kind of like as if VR Chat and Boneworks had a baby. It has a really cool physics engine, which enables some insane physics based experiences, something I've never seen in any other VR social app before. And the best part is that from now until Christmas, SideQuest are giving away one Quest 3 every week to a random user who's online in Banter during the time of drawing. Drawing times are random, of course, so the more time you spend in Banter, the higher are your chances to win, and you don't even need to have a VR headset to enter, because Banter has a 2D client that you can get on Steam for free, so literally nothing is stopping you from enjoying enjoying this awesome social platform and entering the giveaway. You will find all the links in the description and thank you so much SideQuest for sponsoring this video. Next, profile updates are coming too. Now you will be able to see shared apps and connections on someone's profile if they choose to share that information. But it's a double-edged sword, there is a fine line between sharing interests and oversharing some personal info. I think that this feature will be a hit for those who love social networking, but a miss for privacy advocates. But hey, at least you can choose to keep this info hidden. For the adventurous ones, the public test channel for Quest 3 is opening, finally. This means early access to unreleased software. It's always cool to test drive new features. Getting early access to software might have some bugs, but it's a cool way to be a part of the development process. Great news for beta testers. Another new feature is pass-through during app loading, and it's an interesting one. Basically, now you won't feel like you're somewhere in the void in between worlds if an app takes a little bit to load. So when you start an app that has enabled this feature, you will continue to see your surroundings while the app loads and thus not feel isolated. Access to Meta Horizon Worlds just got easier as well. Now you can jump into your favorite virtual spaces straight from the app library. This is a user-friendly tweak that streamlines your VR experience in Horizon Worlds. 
Another update is the safe browsing enhancements, and this marks a step forward in online security for VR users. Previously, safe browsing on the MetaQuest browser primarily relied on Google's safe browsing technology. Now, with the integration of Meta's own secure website database, the level of protection is doubled. This means a broader range of potentially harmful websites that can be identified and blocked, and this reduces the risk of phishing, malware, and other online threats. And that's great news. Another one is boundary system improvements, and that's a big deal for regular VR users. Your headset will now remember more spaces, making the VR setup quicker and more seamless. It's a quality of life improvement that many will appreciate, because yeah, that's annoying when your headset forgets your room and you have to set it up again. Hopefully, this will happen less frequently now. Here's a good one, but only for Quest Pro users. The update introduces up to 34% increase in CPU performance and up to 19% percent increase in GPU performance when dynamic resolution is turned on. This boost means that the Quest Pro can handle more complex tasks and graphics-intensive applications with greater ease. With the higher clock speeds in CPU and GPU, the mixed reality applications will run smoother as well. Still, with great performance comes great power consumption. It will be interesting to see how Meta balances this, ensuring that users enjoy the benefits of higher performance without significantly compromising already small battery life. If you have cloud backup turned on, you can now secure your backups with your own PIN for end-to-end -end encryption. The addition of end-to-end -end encryption for cloud backups is a vital security update. With data breaches becoming more common, this feature ensures your VR data stays secure. This added security measure means you can backup your data with more peace of mind. Just don't forget your encryption PIN. What do you think about them? Are you excited about these changes, or is there something you'd wish they'd done differently? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more VR updates. See you in the next one!